I'm Paul Levinson, and welcome to Light on Light Through, episode 304. My review of The Time Traveler's Wife, episode 1.2, just on HBO tonight. Now, I say it's a powerful episode because... Spoilers ahead. Though, actually, a lot of the story of the time traveler's wife is Henry telling his younger selves, as well as Claire at various ages, spoilers of one kind or another about what's going to happen, and or what can't happen, regardless of what Henry or anyone at any age may want or not want to happen. So maybe, if I'm being true to this story, I shouldn't warn you about spoilers. Though, come to think of it, you and I live in a world in which there is no such thing as time travel, right? As far as we know. So it goes on in a time travel story shouldn't really apply. Anyway, we learn in this episode an hour of details that cut like a thousand knives about a pivotal, life-changing event in Henry's life. It wasn't starting to time travel and having his older self coach him about it. It wasn't Claire in his life. Both of these, of course, are crucial to Henry, to say the least. But the pivotal event explored from a myriad of intersecting angles in tonight's episode was the death of Henry's mother who died in an automobile accident with young Henry already time-traveling in the back seat. Now, obviously, Henry survived. And also, obviously, any time-traveler would devote the rest of his or her time-traveling life to saving their mother. But as an older Henry demonstrates to Henry as a boy, he can't change what will happen in history. This excruciating point puts Henry in a class of distinct minorities in time travelers who travel to the past and indeed change history. Though a nice twist on this, which I sometimes myself have employed as a writer, is the time traveler goes to the past to stop something from happening and learns too late that this very trip to the past made the unwanted event happen in the first place. So, we and Claire and Henry's younger self learn tonight that events that happen are immutable. There is no free will. What will happen will happen. This is a trenchant philosophic proposition which can't, in our reality, be proven or disproven. And that's one big reason why I think time travel, as much fun as it is in fiction, just can't happen in the real world. Look, if you travel to the future tomorrow and see me wearing a light blue shirt, well, good for you. But I like to think, and in fact, I do think, that I can put on a dark blue shirt tomorrow, or maybe a shirt of a different color altogether, if that's what I want to do. Now, these, I think, are both profound and fun to think about, and I credit the time traveler's wife for raising them so effectively. I'll see you here next week with my review of the next episode. That is, unless I don't want to write it. But don't worry, I think I will. And I hope you enjoyed that review of The Time Traveler's Wife 1.2. I will be back here next week with my review of The Time Traveler's Wife 1.3. By the way, I made a mistake in the previous episode of Light On, Light Through, in which I said I would be back with a review of the new episode of The Man Who Fell to Earth, which I thought was going to be on tonight. But I forgot that for some reason, I don't know, you'll have to ask Showtime, they decided not to put on a new episode tonight. 
It was the same episode that was on last week. I thought maybe I was time traveling into the past. Anyway, I'm pretty sure there'll be a new episode of The Man Who Fell to Earth next week. I'll be reviewing that for sure, as well as the next episode of The Time Traveler's Wife, as I just said, and who knows what else. In the meantime, stay safe, stay sound, and do whatever you can to help those brave people of Ukraine get those evil Russians out of their country once and for all. The Light on Light Through Podcast. Athens, 2042 AD. She ripped the paper in half, then ripped the halves, then ripped what was left again into bits and pieces of history that could have been. Sierra Waters had read once that, years ago, it was thought that men made love for the thrill, while women made love for the sense of connection it gave them. Curled up with a good book says, Sierra Waters is sexy as hell. You can find out more about The Plot to Save Socrates by Paul Levinson at theplottosavesocrates.com. about an ancient biotech war raging on in secret for centuries.